you know, I think some levity is in order given the events that happened today. So, uh, with that in mind, welcome to my first gaming vlog of 2021. I'm still working on other videos over the course of this year. So, let's start with what I've been playing on PS4 for now. Now, uh, I mean, I finally got my last complimentary title of the previous one to install this before I build over the next one. Looks surprised that Man Eater is only available on for PS5 years right now as opposed to being a crossplay title for PS4. Looks like a fun one, but they off a of Rocket Arena. Even if someone doesn't play a whole lot of Battle Royale, all kind of shooters, I'm actually enjoying this one just for the presentation here. I mean I mean, personally, hey, hey, if you're kind of turned off by Fortnite, I, like I am, especially given how they've been presenting themselves lately, this is definitely for you, who, I mean, I get a few shows of playing a bit more, so, before I switch over to the ones I'm getting off for this month, yes. Okay, so one of this month's new titles I actually was able to opt into, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm working on a, on a list of games I would like to see revived and a remaster for my PS5. And even though this one is actually kind of decent, I'm still thinking that now that the Gritty Reboot trilogy is basically over, that I think it's time to return to when this series was fun. Oh, I mean, again, I mean... And no, this the reloaded spinoff does not count. I mean, clearly some of the mechanics when you actually you know actually in the tombs, tombs, uh, barring all the all the countless times where I accidentally gored Lara on something, the the actual puzzle solving. I mean, it's like someone develop and dev team understands that we want. To go back to the older style of gameplay, but don't necessarily understand why. I mean, it's it's weird. I mean, it's 25th anniversary, so I think it's time. And like, it feels like that announcement on the app was like their lone little piece of Diablo Immortal, which I even tweeted out that gif. Like, it's an absolutely simple fool's joke. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean. And the last one was Greedful, which I'm still trying to figure out. I mean, I guess I could definitely see myself doing more of that uh, in the near future. But yeah. And now I'm going to move on to Switch in this next segue here. So, also turns out how that I was planning to get this on PS4, but it's not my thumbnail. I managed to get that Crash Team Racing Nitro. If you old, I mean, I mean, as a big fan of the original PS1 game, aim, and while it was essentially like the PlayStation answer to Mario Kart, much like how how Crash was some the essential an answer to the likes of Mario and Sonic, and I think they think Beanox, who mostly has done a lot of other ports of games, they're still active. It actually did a good job with the role, like even with the microtransaction situation, and and I definitely have enjoyed what they have been doing so far. I mean, of this game, and I'm definitely been willing, actually able to beat it, and I was actually so impressed. I actually bought bought the version which is on sale for half price, and definitely been enjoying this one the most. And there's a reason why I I have made Crash as the cornerstone of of that fandom for a while now, so anyway, so I've got to say for now. I'll, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on the answers going on. I already have my first script for the for my first review of this year written and and definitely will keep you know we're gonna be still we'll get other videos, least of all I'm thinking I'm still, since Wonder Woman 84 is going to be getting off the max sooner than I expected, and I definitely still liked it, I'm going to be ready at my spoiler review who, fairly soon, and I will talk to you all later then. Mm.